am Vida Guerra, and I'm living a little life. on Living the Low Life. It's the ladies of low riding. If a guy can do it, a girl can do it even better. These girls do it all. Don't let nobody tell you you can just because you're a girl, you know. And Vita Guerra bears it all for Playboy in an exclusive photo shoot you won't want to miss. Meanwhile, our other ladies of low riding get down and dirty. We're changing the brake from the 68 Cadillac. So listen up. I'm tired of washing dishes, I'm tired of taking care of the kids. We women, we represent for the women too. Ride low and slow, live in the low light. Live in the low light. Drop the bomb. The world of low riding seems like a male dominated world with ladies relegated to giving support and not much else. Well, they're here to tell you that there's more to it than that. Hi, I'm Vida Guerra, and today I'm living the low life. We're gonna pay a visit to the low ladies of low riding. You'll find them behind the wheel or in front of the car. And whatever the task, they're always looking good and loving the ride. It's sexy for women to be into cars just as much as it is for a guy. And if guys can do it, women should be able to do it too. Still, it can be difficult. It's kind of hard because you got a lot of men that think that they go, they're the only one to do it. But that's not stopping a wide range of women. Every girl should try, you know. Don't let nobody tell you you can just because you're a girl, you know. And many guys fully agree. Girl car clubs are just as fine as they want to get down and dirty, which they do. I actually get down, I actually help, and you know, my little hands come. Uh, come in handy. Yeah, because you know, sometimes our hands are way too big and they're trying to get a bolt in there or trying to unscrew something. I'm like, here, step aside, I'll do it for you, you know? <laughs> in some circles, the debate rages. These guys just said that they'd rather have a nice car than a woman. Why? Because uh, my car doesn't talk back to me, you know? <laughs> Competition brings other theories. If you're to lose to a girl, I guess it's worse than saying you're gonna lose to, you know, lose to a boy. Men don't rule everything. Beautiful women in cars have always gone together. That's never been debated. Be creative and fun and flirty with the camera. It's a good time. Today, Vita's doing a shoot for Playboy. We're working on her cover today. We're going to go in the studio and uh, see if we can feature that beautiful face and that luscious body and uh, get a recover. It's a fun process. Who doesn't like to be made up? You know, usually on my regular day, I'm just in sweats, going to the gym, no makeup, hair in a ponytail. And here I get all primped and pretty and feel like a girl. So as it all comes together, we'll head a few miles up the road where we'll meet some ladies who love their cars. Some of them think it's my husband's car or my boyfriend's car, and it's neither of the two, so I gotta set it straight and let them know that girls could be in this too. I grew up with it. My dad, he uh, builds hot rods. And these girls are just as dedicated, forming their own club. So we just had a group of friends, and we had cars, and we always, like, any other girl tags along with their man, and we wanted our own thing, and then we started getting our own cars, and working on our cars, and that's how we started. We figured, well, why are guys the only ones that are doing it? Why not the girls? Let's ride harder than the boys. They're called Las Vixens for two good reasons. We wanted to put Las because we're all Latinas, and Vixens because a Vixen is a, you know, a female fox, and um, I do believe we're all foxy. <laughs> foxy and car crazy. I've always loved cars because there's lowriders, rat rods, customs, chopped, um, primered, you know, you name it. It's always different, never, ever the same. For them, it's a no-brainer. Because I'm a car girl, you know, except I don't like newer cars. It's, for me, they're boring. For me, I just want something very, uh, like, spicy to it, you know. This movement is growing. 
I think it's great that women are getting into car clubs. It's honestly just a way of showing guys that, you know, they're not the only ones that can work on cars and, you know, have car clubs as well. And some girls are just as fast as the guys. I love speed. <laughs> That's basically, and I have the tickets to prove it. <laughs> Lowriding can be many different things. Models, wives, girlfriends, pinstripe artists, and some even work on their cars themselves. Like the gals of Las Vixens, a club that knows how to wrench with the best of them. We're changing the brakes on this 68 Cadillac. So who taught them all this? Boyfriends, husbands that make us like go in there and think, think it's hot. <laughs> they think it's hot, they're like, get in there. They, you know, help us out, they teach us. Like, um, like you know, we always say we, we turn a wrench wherever we can. Where Help. we can't, we get taught. They also know how to stretch a dollar. Basically, this is how we save money, um, doing our own brakes and oil changes, little things that we can do ourselves. My dad was a backyard mechanic. So when I was like nine, he brought home a 54 Chevy pickup truck, five wind on the back, and it came in on a flatbed. It was like a burn truck. He restored it for me. So on my 16th birthday, that was my first car. And we're done. There you go. Woohoo! I always say I was born 20 years too late because I love the 50s. Everything about the 50s really captivates me. When I'm driving my car, I listen to nothing but early 50s music. The style of dress, you know. Yeah, rockabilly style. And it's rockabilly style, bridging the worlds of hot rodding and lead sleds to the culture of low riding. All these girls I met through the rockabilly scene, even before we started as, you know, like a car club. I love the 50s, you know, and I got an old car because of my grandma. She would always used to cruise around with us in the back, you know, back in the day. The style of it. Just to know the fact that you're riding in a classic car makes you feel really good. With the right car and look, you're back in the day. Las Vixens have all the 50 style cues, adding tattoos and streaked hair. As for me, I like the hair. So, the hair, Woo! I like Woo! the hair. <laughs> They're always busy, often giving back to the community. We're gathering up for a meeting that we're gonna have for an upcoming event, um, which is for our charity. As a club, we want to do something good. You know, not just only just hang around and do, uh, our, you know, do our projects and whatnot. Their current project is special. We call it adopting a charity every year. So we talk about like what we're gonna do the following year. And this year we're gonna adopt a family. And during the holidays, we're gonna provide their Christmas tree decorations, their Christmas dinner and presents for the kids. We'll keep up on their progress. Meanwhile, it's time to keep up with Vita at her photo shoot. Okay, I am the second part of my transformation into a woman, a sexy woman. It's kind of hard too, because sometimes when people see you a certain way, then they expect you to be looking like that all the time. She'll be ready for you in just a moment. Okay. Okay, perfect. Almost there. Up the road, things are less glamorous. That's where a very special lowrider rolls in. She's a pastor piloting one amazing 86 Chevy Caprice, driving to those in need. Sometimes, you know, they go through trials and situations and they don't have anybody to go to. So God has put me right there in the midst of them with this car. Now they can say I'm one of them because I got my own car. So I'm low riding with them. And what a low rider it is. I saw my first roll rider back in 1965. Uh, my brothers and all their friends used to hit their springs. We used to go over the bumps and stuff, you know, then we get a little bounce in it and stuff. Her deck lid is divine. This is Moses who's holding the Ten Commandments. And then we have the dove that represents the Holy Spirit. And these Ten Commandments is what this car stands for. It stands for our testimony unto our community to let them know what God is and what he's all about. Later, Vita meets one bouncing Monte Carlo. She did a better job than I did. I'm gonna have to get some lessons from her. Valerie is her name, and she loves hydraulics. It gets up there, it gets up there, but 
I'm still learning and I just get it enough oh, better, better than me. <laughs> I can raise it, lower it, side to side it. So I saw your husband out here with the tower cleaning your car, so you get him to do all the work? Yeah. It's payback, right, yeah. for making you clean the house, right? Cleaning the dishes? Yeah. And cleaning and cooking after him. Yeah. Guys, watch out. Las Vixens Car Club is an all-girl organization who know great rides and vintage cool. Today, Las Vixens host a party with a purpose. They'll help needy families in their community, along with the promotion of a very specific goal. We're raising awareness. We want to expose the charity. We want to talk to as many people as we can to let them know what we're doing. And we want them to support. We want to encourage them to adopt you know, their own family for the holidays and give back to the community. Turnout is great. It is awesome. We, we, we I mean, I'm speechless. <laughs> First, when we arrived, there was a few cars, so we started getting a little bummed out, but everything looks great. Our friends pulled through, and we're happy. Some of those friends might need a little pinstriping. We know just the girl. You know, you always see guys pinstriping, you know, and never see any women, so, you know, it's like, why can't I do that? You know, I work on cars. My major at school is automotive technology, so I do body work. Why not pinstriping? Her passion goes all the way back. I have been into cars since I was a little girl. I got my first red plastic Corvette in my crib because my dad, I was born in Rhode Island and my dad was the king of Corvettes in Rhode Island. Although for some reason I have gravitated to much larger cars and I've wanted a hearse since I was 13 years old and now I have two. This is my 1977 Superior end loader and my other one is a 1969 Miller Meteor three-way. Well, she's not the only woman out there who's pinstriping up a storm. Pinstriping can easily take away from something, and I think it's, you know, really, you know, understanding color and understanding just the, the lines of the car. Most of the time you try to stay consistent with the style of the car, because, I mean, you wouldn't pick, like, blue if there's no blue on it or, you know, things like that. Sam is a great pinstriper, and show me, uh, tell me a little bit about what you have over here. Um, over here, I have some purses that I pinstriped. I think it's a lot of fun because pinstriping is mostly done, you know, on cars and for guys. So why not do something for girls? And so um, here's like some purses with some like rhinestones on them and uh -huh. stuff like that. So do you think because you are a female, that guys are like, well, I'm not going to take my car to her because you know. She's not gonna get it right. Do you get a lot of that? Um, sometimes, sometimes people think I'm a guy. Like when they say, "Oh, can I talk to Sam or Bogey?" Because that's oh. my pinstriping name. They think I'm a guy right off the bat. Um, sometimes you have to prove yourself even more and practice more. Okay, it's time to move from pinstriping to Playboy. Right now, um, they're 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 doing some test shots to see if this is the kind of background we're gonna use. And so, what else are they gonna use? We're in wardrobe right now, we're gonna pick out some something really hot. So you gotta go. Make way for the ladies of low riding. These girls are busy planning charity events, going to swap meets, and still finding time to work on their rides. I'm always working on the car. I'm always helping my dad. I'm always making sure you guys know, give him a hand because it is my car. Hey, look, At the Las Vixens charity event, you'll lay eyes on a multitude of machines. Lowriders, bombas, hot rods, we have a hearse. So this is exactly what the Vixens are about. It's a club with open doors. We let anybody in, pretty much. As long as you're able to get along with everybody and as long as you're willing, you know, committed, because it's, it's a big commitment when you're in a car club. They look up to a certain organization. They keep those car clubs. I kind of see them like our mentors. They help us out a lot. They, you know, tell us, hey, this is cool, that's not cool. And speaking of cool, earlier, Vita met up with a very cool lady in love with her lowrider. So how'd you get into lowriding? Um, my brother. My brother's a big, big car fanatic, so it's like with him, he just brought me on in, just showed me a lot of cars and just spoke a lot on it, so I developed to like cars too. <laughs> when she found this Chevy, she had to have it. 
It has uh, 50,000 miles on it. It's uh, stock, it has no hydros on it to retain the value of the car. So it's pretty original. Pretty original. Hey, we've seen these letters before. So tell me a little bit about the National Lowrider Association. Basically, it's for all different races, Blacks, Mexican, Chinese, Asian, Islanders, everybody, um, to come together with their car clubs and just to be non-gang related, non-drug related. Some car clubs love hopping. Women are entering that arena as well. At an event like this, it won't be just the guys. Oh, I hop. Hop, swing, show it, I do it all. Three wheel it, hey, let's do it. My husband can do it, we women can do it. That's all I say. Well, this woman is doing it with her radical Impala. Well, to get this car here today, what we had to do was, um, we traveled all the way from the Bay Area. Uh, we had to fix a couple things. You know, we had to charge the batteries, of course. Just make sure everything was working right, you know? So I don't get embarrassed. <laughs> She's gonna hop. But first, a little surprise. I love it when I want to. I shake it when I need to. Okay, we're getting ready to shoot. Watch me at work. Show you what I need to. Show you what I need to. Do anything I want to. Dime a dozen, ain't worth nothing. The photo shoot for Playboy is a hit. It's another big cover for Vita. Just another day at the office. As we meet the ladies of low riding, we learn some of these women were born into it. For many, it's a family tradition. My uncle always had low rider cars. He always had uh, his car club uh, emblem in the back of the car, and I've always been fascinated by the art. I, I see it as a piece of art. And for some, the art continues. Don't be intimidated, don't be scared. Get out there and have fun. You know, that's important. Mm -hmm. And you could still make it girly, right? Yeah, absolutely. Just I mean, look at this. This is girly, too. I mean, guys probably wouldn't want a purse with rhinestones on it. No. But... <laughs> Back at the hop, women are represented. Make no mistake about it. Yeah, we women need to be doing this. It's fun. Bring it to the table. OK, here it comes. I know if you want to do it, do it. Give it a try. That's what I did. She wowed the crowd until her car malfunctioned. How'd you do? The switch got stuck, so I didn't do as good as I wanted to, but I'm satisfied with what I did. She's already set for the next one. Next year, I'll do one. Back with Las Vixens, they're rocking. There's a way of giving back to the community, organizing the dance, you know, providing the music that we're into, and a lot of the kids are into it. So they really appreciate for us to give back to them or organize something for them. These gals kept it all in the family. I guess it started with my dad. Uh, he, by trade, is a was a mechanic. He's retired now. And um, he wanted boys really bad. He only got girls. <laughs> it's a love affair. I love my car. I cannot go anywhere without it. And it's spreading. We're really um, looking forward to starting a chapter in Japan. Few women know the popularity of low riding like Vita. Okay. Okay, Vita, you call it. And that's a wrap for now. Okay, gotta go, but remember, next time you pull up next to a low rider, don't be surprised if it's a woman behind the wheel. Later. We tired of washing dishes, tired of taking care of the kids. We women, we represent for the women too. The whole car, you know, takes a lot of love, heart to put into it and maintain it and take care of it.
it's a lot of work, so you know you gotta put it in. But for a girl, the same thing, you know. Yeah, you you need a girl too. Our girls love love us, but hate the club. Yeah. <laughs> My wife's moving out. You know, a couple of them got guns. <laughs>